The Faraday effect is when an object, in today's case a glass rod, when it's in a magnetic field affects the polarization. So we have our vertical polarized light going in, uh, the analyzer polarized over here in a screen where we can see what's going on. Here's a solenoid which we'll use to create a magnetic field. Tucked inside the solenoid is a glass rod. I've got another one pulled out here so you can see what it lo looks like. It's just literally just a, a transparent rod inside a holder so it fits inside the solenoid. So that's already tucked inside the solenoid. First I'm going to cross the polarizers so we're, we're extinct, the, extinct. Beam is blocked. All right. Then I'm going to insert the, fair, the, the rod, the Faraday rod in here. So I can see light going through it. All right. And you can see very faintly the, the spot has come back just a little bit, indicating the rod itself, even without the magnetic field, is slightly birefringent because I can't actually zero out that little bit of light there. No matter how crossed I get the polarizers, even when they're 100% crossed, a tiny bit of light leaks by. So the rod, the glass rod itself, is, is, is probably very slightly birefringent. But that's independent of the effect we're looking at. We want to know what happens uh, now when I apply the magnetic field. So over here there's a power supply and basically I'm just going to turn it on and we can see we're now running about 3.1 amperes through the coil. So there's a magnetic field in there. You can see our, our spot has got a little bit brighter now and I can try zeroing it out again. And I find I have to move just a little bit. The rotation is very tiny. All right, so when I find the minimum now, I find I've rotated it about two degrees counterclockwise. Two degrees counterclockwise. Now I'm going to turn the magnetic field off and re-zero. All right, and then I'm going to reverse the magnetic field just by reversing the leads on the power supply over here and turn it back on again. 3.1 amperes, the beam is now a little brighter, and now I see I have to rotate now about 2 degrees clockwise now. So the direction of rotation has changed when I reverse the magnetic field. For the, for the solenoid. And this is, this is what we call the DC Faraday effect because we're applying a constant magnetic field and so you just get a, a rotation proportional to the size of the B field. Uh, using a setup though, it's really difficult to measure how big that is because at the maximum output of our power supply, we just get a barely detectable rotation. 